hello guys we're doing a repair in this evaporator coil for this fridge is uh, leaking we just tested it with uh, nitrogen I place it at 120 psi first of all this fridge is brand new well it's only five years old it's been used uh, barely oh look at this is uh, 2014 it's not even five years old this is like three years old 2017 three years old and uh it is stopped cooling i we checked everything it was uh it wasn't cooling either or up on the upside or the downside we checked the compressor it was working like i said it's it looks new and it feels new and then uh we just welded on a service service port here that's a cap and the the valve was taken off so the nitrogen was tested with nitrogen at 120 psi there was a leak we checked the leak with the leak detector that's a service port we checked throughout the line system the low side the high side and then uh, we found the leak inside of the evaporator coil candy get out here that's my dog um and then i'm trying to this disassemble i'm gonna patch i'm gonna fill the hole with uh, some solder this is aluminum so i'm gonna have to get a, a special type of solder for this the hole is right in here you can see the bubbles because there's it's nitrogen pressure pressure inside of the coil on the system so i'm gonna go get because i don't have it with me any aluminum solder or something that will solder that is very little right there and that was because uh, the element heating element the frosting element was heating i mean sorry it was uh, rubbing and when that it gets hot then the my bet was that the aluminum was corroded and then the that's why the leaf developed that's my machine so you get the the find the leak is a refrigerant leak detection equipment i already took it apart you can mark the parts so you don't forget i already know how it, how they are those are the the hooks the thermostat and the fan so i'll solder that and refill it with refrigerant how much refrigerant am i gonna use people have often that question you come here and look for the label manufacturer and it says right there that needs 3.7 ounces of r134a that's what i'm gonna put into the system that will be I checked the thermostat everything so it wasn't cooling so I decided to went ahead and open it and that was the refrigerant that the leak is right there let me double triple check it yeah it's right there I don't want to use any JB wall but you could that's that won't be lasting any long All you could do is clean it real quick with a, a alcohol or something And let me clarify this, I will be using the same evaporator coil, I will not be desoldering the evaporator coil, I just twisted it and try to bend it uh, without folding it and so I couldn't, I, I could not, uh, so I don't have to re-solder re and do the repair, because it's very accessible here, it's not in between of the panel. So that'll be more harder because you have to move away the fins and everything so i'm gonna have to go and buy the the solder to do this again you can use jb well some type of glue but that won't last a few only a few years maybe i want for it to be a long lasting repair at least another 20 years that's it so the charge is in the label that's what you put by weight of the refrigerant those are the parts that's a pressure testing let me focus that's uh, my my equipment here 
I did an access valve here. If you don't have this, uh, there was a cap here. If you don't have that type of access valve, you can put one. Don't do the piercing valves because those do not work and they do leak. If you don't have this type of access with a cap in here, what you can do is locate the suction. This is a suction. This is a low side and put on a T here and then put your access valve so you can refill with refrigerant. Right now it's at 120. I pressurize it at 120. See how it's going down. This is nitrogen gas. And I hopefully um, do this repair and fix the refrigerator. I'll make an update video for or continue this video.